I was very much uh, interested in this uh, geometric uh, secret and also with the new programs, what's going on. To me it feels like I did the work of maybe half a year here in three weeks. We are all together working on one subject, this crazy interaction of line geometry and structural engineering. We have mathematicians, designers, we have architects, we have civil engineers, artists, and we want to learn from making and from interacting. Having all these people around me and interchanging ideas with them, that is something you can't achieve in any other working group. I think that will change the way I think and the perspective and to see deeper in some problems. The mathematicians here can solve problems that would need maybe to work one day. They can solve it in five minutes or they can give us ideas we wouldn't even think about. This summer school was meant not to end as a sort of conference. We wanted to have a testing field where the participants during three weeks really get into the material and be productive. And they came up with a lot of ideas and I bundled those ideas into projects. Our project is kind of a pavilion, like a spaceship. It's related to Diane's presentation about new discoveries of NASA and the research of Elon Musk. So it kind of inspired us. We work deeply connected together. That's great to have the opportunity to do the things and in that way to learn so much. Our summer school was also connected to other research projects like the Q project, which is executed by the Institute of Concrete Structures and they developed models during our summer school, which solved a lot of issues they had in their line geometry surface. I have never been working with the road surfaces before, so Daniel was very helpful. He always wants us to feel very, very nice and pleasant. We had perfect conditions. We were next door to the maker space with the laser cutter, 3D printer, hot wire cutter and it was so easy to come from a simulation phase to a prototyping phase. The makerspace is quite amazing. Surfing around and picking the machine uh, which is best for your project, it's something that I've never had the chance to do before. And also at the concrete lab, we could just use as much material as we wanted to and there were a lot of people to help us. I think we have some really nice results produced. We wanted to provide wonderful talks. We had Tony Kotnik there, Mike Schleich, Johann Kollega from Vienna. We really saw some big names speaking on this little stage. Especially the speech from Oliver Sander was interesting to me because it was digging deeper into the mathematical backgrounds. After these lectures, each group had some time to talk with them and it was great because the ideas they presented at the moment were kind of a game changer for our project. Masayo Ave, as a designer, played a key role during the workshop because she was able to break our very technical approach with a workshop on design experience. We should find the numbers, mathematical symbols and letters in nature. It was to train the eye to discover something which exists in front of you but never noticed. There is uh, the seeds flying like a helicopter, <laughs> made themselves in a perfect geometric shape, without computer, without any calculation. Even after that, we were still looking for the for the numbers in the in the on the trees. I wanted to create a holistic approach to the summer school, and this is easy in Dresden because we have a wonderful environment for research and art within the frame of Dresden concept and we went to some institutions like the Otto Mohr Laboratory or the Leibniz Institute of Polymer Research. Those institutes were perfect to get in touch with other ideas of lightweight constructions. We saw some of the smart materials yesterday. It was very interesting. 
I was like a kid. Some of them are quite unbelievable. You just hold it in your hands and you can't believe what's happening in front of your eyes. The student hotel provided us with bicycles. So this was perfect not only for commuting from the hotel to the working space, but also for our trip to Pilnitz Castle. It was very, very nice and beautiful. The winery, then the castle and then the bridge. At Pilnitz Castle we had a nice talk by Tulga Bayerle, the director of the Kunstgewerbe Museum, to show us around through the exhibition of design objects. In the third week, all participants were focused on the final presentation and exhibition in the CRTD. This was a great chance to show what they really are able to produce in a short period of three weeks. And this created an atmosphere of expectation, which we wanted to fulfill. They worked day and night and tried to get all out of the machines just to have this exhibition done. At the moment we have some challenges that we need to overcome, but in the end we expect great results. This was so motivating to have this huge, wonderful space in connection with the real-time exhibition, with this audience from art, science and politics. This was just a perfect setting to finish our work on the sum school. And I'm pretty sure they took a lot of inspiration from this special format. At the end, when you have the physical product, you know, you get a new energy to proceed to work in that kind of way.